Alright, welcome to Jolly Roger Lagoon Atlantis. This is the bulk of the world here, these, these underwater ruins. So right off the bat, what we're going to do is we're going to hit this uh, warp pad here on this pedestal. And I strongly recommend the first thing you do is collect these notes and go into this building right here. Just trust me, you're going to want to go in this building as soon as possible. This is the Electric Eel's Lair. There's a couple of Electric Eels in here. And we go up here. We can jump, grab up he uh, here. It's a tiny little room, but at the top is our final Jam Jar Silo of the world. And it's extremely important. You need this move. Talon Torpedo. Z launches bird, just watch her go through the water like a torpedo. Control stick to steer, N A for speed, B to cancel if it's banjo you need. That'll be all dismissed. Yeah, this is probably one of the most important new moves in the whole game. This gives us basically an ability to use Kazooie as a torpedo underwater. And it's not only a powerful attack, but it's going to be needed to break open a whole bunch of stuff that's underwater. So get this as soon as you possibly can. And again, most of this world is just purely underwater, so you technically don't need the infinite air from Mumbo, but boy, howdy does it help. Alright, shoot that guy in the eye, and get that treble clef. So there's a giant uh, set of ruins here, but it, there's a door that's closed. If you look at the symbols, we've got Pie, Squiggle, Horseshoe, Squiggle, Triangle, Triangle. Pie, Squiggle, Horseshoe, Squiggle, Triangle, Triangle. Alright. Then there are all of these mermaid buckets over here with those various symbols on them. What we need to do is basically enter the code. So this is the Pie, so Pie, that gives us the right one. Where's the Squiggle? I don't... That might be the squiggle. I, it's hard for me to tell. That's triangle. That's horseshoe. Okay, that was the squiggle. Oh my gosh, those are the mermaids from Donkey Kong 64. Or the mermaid. There we go. We entered the right code, so now that door is going to open up. I'm just going to say, this upcoming uh, thing in here, this is where homing egg, this is one of the places where homing eggs are really going to come in handy, but I'm going to do it without homing eggs. I'm just going to equip regular eggs, we don't need anything fancy for this. I technically could have equipped regular eggs for feeding the mermaid statues. This is the Temple of the Fishes. And there's a shark cage at the top. Oh, hello there! Oh, hi! I'm Chris! Chris? Not very pig-like, if you ask me. Actually, it's Chris P. Bacon. Oh, I see. Uh, what are you doing, Mr. Bacon? I'm on vacation, trying to photograph those lovely paintings on the wall down there. Sounds fascinating. Oh, it is. But these awful fish keep attacking me. Why not get a spear gun? This camera was too expensive. I had no doubloons left. Perhaps you could protect me while I'm down there instead. Yeah, sure. Right then. If you could just follow me down to the bottom. Yeah, I can't emphasize enough uh, how important that homing eggs are going to be for this. I like pain, though, so we're going to do it without it. Also, I love his Union Jack uh, swimsuit. Okay. Hope you're ready! Here they come! Be in first person mode, and as these fish show up, we gotta shoot them with the eggs. And they're pretty fast, so, uh... And they can come from any direction, so... Homing eggs definitely help because uh, you don't have to be as precise with your aiming. Yeet! No! Talk on it! Sometimes, see, even even as good as the underwater controls are, it's still not the best. That nipper bite really hurt! Please try harder next time! Do you want to try again? Sure. Right then, if you could just follow me down to the bottom. New strategy, bro. I'm gonna be above you. 
and try to aim just in all the directions. I think that's going to be a better plan. Hope you're ready, here they come! Come on, shoot when I tell you to. See how important homing eggs would be for this one? They're so useful. How did you get past? Thunk on it. Thank goodness for double eggs. Yeah, this, this game is very annoying without homing eggs. Ah, stop making them bite my butt, please! <laughs> Uh, this is this is one of those missions that's kind of annoying. A new plan. I'm gonna gonna I'm gonna hang out in a corner here for most of it. Actually, maybe my first strategy was okay, just making the rounds. He has to retake all the photos though. Hope you're ready. Here they come. I love how like literally he's like, I have to erase all the photos I took the last time, so he may to take them again. Just because uh, that bite really hurt. It's like, really, 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 Chris? Okay, yeah, it's a lot easier to aim and if you just keep swimming. Where are they even coming from? They're literally spawning from the paintings. Yeah, I'm just gonna go counterclockwise around. Oh, this, yeah, this seems to be working. It's a lot easier to aim if you don't have to do it vertically and horizontally. And at this al at this altitude, I literally will just have to aim horizontally, not really so much vertically. Okay, no! You son of a gun, you almost had me. I think that'll do it. I'm off back to the surface. Thank goodness! You almost got your butt bit there. Also, I don't need to snorkel anymore because there's infinite air in this water for some reason. I got all the shots I needed! Perhaps this fin I found earlier may interest you! Why, yes it does! Well, I'm off to get these pictures printed! Bye! How did you get this shark tank machine? built into these ancient aquatic ruins. Don't ask questions. All right, there we go, a new jiggy. Bada beam, bada boom. And then this is the other big temple here. There's a Kazooie image here. If we press Z, this brings out the Talon Torpedo. It actually costs five red feathers to use. And there's a time limit, but we can hold A and just kind of go and move with the control stick. It can be a little weird to control, but if we go up to this Kazooie, BAM! Destroyed it. And in here, the final of the ruins, the ancient- no, not the final of the ruins, this is the ancient swimming baths. There's another set of ruins. Stupid Billy Club, get over here. So this is the area we saw in the sneak peek in Jiggy Wiggy's challenge. Take that, you butt. So there's a set of split-up pads here. And a Jinjo. Nope, it's a mean joke. <laughs> that worked! Oh, that's great. So there's not really anything here. There's a Minjo, there's some split-up pads, and then there's a beehive, and that's basically it. Having said that, though, if we go back to the egg entrance and look up, there's a Cheeto page up on a ledge over there, but that is way too high up and far away for us to reach right now. We will have to come back here after learning a very late game move in order to get that one Cheeto page. 
Although there is a way to sequence break up there earlier, but even if we use the sequence breaking, we still need to come back later, because it requires a move we don't have yet. Okay, I was just messing with you guys. This is the real final ruins in the Atlantis that we're going to explore. Here we go. This is the Seaweed Sanctum. Move out of the way of the Electric Heal. Very green temple filled with seaweed. Nothing above the entrance here. <laughs> and there's living seaweed monsters in here. Except there's also just regular old seaweed. Hey, dude. <laughs> You're weird. There's a shock jump disc up here. We can use that to climb up to the second floor. Anything of interest? There appears to be a ledge over there. And a ledge up here. Here we go. Third floor! Huh, there's a lot of just regular old seaweed. Is there anything at the edge here? I don't think so. Oh, there is a Jinjo. I saw a Jinjo. He just blended in very well. Alright, there's our third black Jinjo. Nice. So after this perilous climb through all of the living seaweed, we reach the third floor and get our secret entrance out. And this will take us to a new cave. Jolly Rogers Lagoon, the sea bottom. So this is an interesting cave here. There's a ledge down there with a warp pad. That's where I'm going. And we'll get some eerie music underwater now. Also, one thing I don't like is because you tap A and B to swim, and B is also used the warp pad, warp pads can be kind of funky underwater. Also, if we swim around this cavern, there is a gigantic sea monster there. Maybe taste stay out of its way. That transparent fish just has some eggs in it. You can use the Talon Torpedo to pass through the transparent fish and get the prizes inside. But if, there's, if it's just eggs, I don't really care about that. Now we're about to do something that's kind of cringy a little bit, but we're gonna take out this sea monster. We can blow up his teeth. And blow up his teeth, but wow, the hitboxes on this fan are extremely tiny. The sea monster does is, is he's just trying to do his own thing, but we're blowing him up. Right, seriously, how tiny are these hitboxes on his teeth? They're ridiculous. Look at this! You can blow his teeth up. I blew up one of them, but wow! Such tiny hitboxes. Like, what do you want from me? I guess we need to get, like, really far ahead of him in order to get a standard chance. Move it, you butt! He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Again, this is where homing eggs really help. This world, homing eggs are a lifesaver. Okay, seriously, come on. Come on. Come on! I literally shot him right in the tube. What the heck? And you have to shoot every tube. How did that not blow up his final tooth? I literally shot it right at him. 
Oh, it did. Okay, good. So now that his teeth are gone, he's just like... Nope, his tooth is still there. And I have one grenade egg left. Yeah, uh, are you starting to see why I like this world less than some of the others? Alright. Gotta make it count. Really? Can we tell on torpedo them? No, we can't. Wow. I literally had 50 grenade eggs, and they like, all missed that tooth. Even though I blat blatantly shot it many times. Wow. That is terrible. Well, this guy right here, he's got eggs in him. Are they always grenade eggs? They are. I actually need those. Okay. That gives me 10 more grenade eggs. Thank you, transparent fish. This is absolutely ridiculous. There we go. 51st time is the charm. So now his mouth is just wide open and he's like, Bleh, and we can swim in his mouth now. Which is gross. Inside the big fish. Hey, this is looking like Jabu Jabu's belly. Um, why are there living pirates in here? Take that. Well, there's a couple different ways we can go. We're gonna go to the left first. Oh, um, hi. Oh, you must be the rescue party. Only if the price is right. I'm Mary Maggie, partner of Jolly Roger. I was out on one of those blubber wave racers, and when this fish knocked me off and swallowed me. The fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay in here. That's lovely. I'll soon be ha it'll soon be happy hour at the end, and Jolly will be needing some relief. Any chance of a jiggy? Oh, see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. Jolly had a jiggy the whole time? The jerk! <laughs> well, um, Jolly might need to look for some better waitresses. Or maybe the clientele is just different here. Now if we go down this other cavern, ugh, fish guts. Oh, another black ginger! We're finding a lot of them lately, aren't we? Alright, that's all that's for the big fish. All of that work, all of those grenade eggs, just for part of a Jiggy reward and then a Jinjo. And we don't even have the Jiggy yet. <laughs> he looks very derpy now. The big fish, I mean. Alright. Well, there's more to explore in this area. Oh my gosh, his teeth are still at the bottom of the sea. That's kind of disturbing, but also pretty awesome on the game developer's part. Yep, here's another octopus. Freeze him as well. Go past here. Remember that we entered the Big Fish Cavern from above water from the Seaweed Sanctum, so this takes us to a new place. There's a bunch of lockers over here. And there's a transparent fish that has feathers in it. Any sign of a warp? Here's the warp pad. I've been looking for you. Yeah, you have to swim pretty far away from the warp pad before jam jars will start <laughs> laying off you. Stop! The water pressure is far too much for you down there, Banjo! <laughs> yeah, we can't go in there. <laughs> There's more to the lagoon, but we can't go down there. Anyhow. Ah, pufferfish! No! Get away. Where did that warp pad go? Again, the underwater controls aren't the best. Ooh, hollow honeycomb piece. Yes, please. Um. Can we do first person? Oh, we can. First person tornado is pretty cool. 
Stupid. Thank you. Get out of my way! Oh yeah, the lockers actually have names on them, which is pretty cool. I'm like right on it, bro. Alright, we can go to the town center, Atlantis, or the Big Fish Cavern. Let's go back to the town center. Because Jolly has a reward for us. 